We're building a drone that can clean windows on high-rise buildings. What we're looking forward to at Endeavour is just demonstrating the project to a whole lot of different people, from lecturers to industry partners. This week I'm still working on sort of positioning and software things, but what we're actually trying to do at the moment is find a way to essentially uh, improve its positioning by replacing the GPS. So a lot of drones typically use GPS, like in your phone, to position itself against the building. However, when a drone's flying up against the building, you can get signals actually bouncing off and creating really poor measurements. In one instance, we even wanted to put a, a logo on the drone, but it ended up blocking the GPS signal, so we had to swap sides. So when the drone flies, it maps the environment around it and tries to find windows. So using the map to actually stabilize this and replace its GPS measurement, um, is a really good way of solving this problem and that's what I've been working on this week. So during our project you're most likely to find us in the lab working hard. We have this space here and it's been really useful to always come in here to build things to you know if we're testing electronics we have the facilities and even just doing day-to-day -day work we're usually in here. The other place you can find us is often up at the oval testing. We need to fly our drone outside and it's given us a really good opportunity to get out of a lab space and test something outside and enjoy the outdoors. One of the achievements we're most proud of is uh, having actually built a prototype drone with all of the integrated systems. So that has included sensors, we've done a lot of software work, we've had to build a cleaning system and all of this has gone on a hobby drone basically. So having built that prototype and seeing systems work within it, there's been lots of achievements along the way in respect to that. We're really proud of the fact that we've been able to take lots of different forms of engineering and combine them into the one project in a really unique way. We've had a lot of creative license with what we've done here because every system we've designed ourselves. So for a long time we couldn't get the drone off the ground and this was because we took the battery off the drone and we put a tether in. So we're powering it from an external source. The battery that was initially propelling the drone was 14.8 volts, but when we put it to our external power source, we were only getting 12 volts through it. But when we put that hardware on, we found that there wasn't enough power to actually get off the ground. So this was a problem that we faced until we bought a uh, voltage regulator to boost that up from 12 to 15. We were fairly confident that when we made that change, it would happen, but there's still so much satisfaction in actually seeing the engineering that you put into place come to life with those results. While we've done a lot of work ourselves on designing the system, we've had a huge amount of support from our supervisor, Dr. Ranjith Unithan. He's provided us with support the entire way through and really enabled us to do what we need to do. The Capstone project is something big on the horizon in your fourth or fifth year of university. Once you get into the Master of Engineering, it's definitely what everything's working towards. You're thinking about it, thinking about what project you can work on, what group you might be in. It's really exciting. Last year I had the chance to go to Endeavour and bumped into a few of my friends who were working on projects that I had no idea were as cool as they turned out to be. And seeing them win a few prizes and their projects looking really good, I was pretty inspiring. Definitely I recommend if you're in engineering or even anywhere in the sciences, come along to Endeavour, see what you could be doing in a Master of Engineering degree in Melbourne. Yeah, working as a team is a really fundamental part of the Capstone project. There's three of us and it's pretty new to be working so closely with three other people for a whole year. We've had to keep up the communication, make sure everyone's across what everyone else is doing. In this project I've discovered how much these two guys like Star Wars. We've got way too much Star Wars going on in the background of the lab. Is there anything else? <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for tuning into our second episode in Road to Endeavour. If you've enjoyed seeing the drone so far, make sure you give us a like on YouTube so we can win the Road to Endeavour social media prizes. And don't forget to come visit us on Thursday the 18th of October to see our exhibition store. Thanks.